one of the things that has made Atlas Shrugged you know, sort of withstand the test of time and continue to sell hundreds of thousands of books, even though it was written more than 50 years ago, is just how relevant people find the message of the book to what they're experiencing today. Atlas Shrugged, Ayn Rand. There were certain writers that just had this vision of the future. Ayn Rand, because I think she's at the front of an objectivist movement that's coming in this country. Atlas Shrugged, written by Ayn Rand, has inspired millions of Atlas Shrugged. Everything that Ayn Rand predicts in that book, the subjugation of the individual to the, to the collective, the crony capitalism and rent-seeking of big government, it's happening today. With all the government regulation, with all the government interference, and really the impact that all of this has had since the book was written, I think that that makes the message and story of, of Atlas Shrugged so appealing to people that embody the American spirit. This book is uh, one of the 10 most influential books of all time, according to a study by the Library of Congress. It was second only to the Bible. Atlas Shrugged is even more important now than when it was written decades ago, and people need to open their eyes and open their ears. The most important message that anybody should get from this movie is that you have to think for yourself. You can't allow other people to do things for you. You've got to get out there and, and make it happen. We want to really make certain that, that we take our time and capture the message because so many people have been inspired and influenced that what we're really attempting to do and what we aspire to do with part three is really have people who have read the book and have been trying to get other people to read the book or to be able to walk out of the theater and say now that was Atlas Shrugged. It's gonna be a great movie, it'll be the best of the three in terms of it's going to say what we want it to say. Kickstarter just gives us a great opportunity to reach out to a whole new audience as well as afford fans of the book a chance to participate and join us and uh, be part of the celebration of Atlas Shrugged. People want to be a part of this. They want to be a part of making a movie, uh, a movie about the best book they ever read. We know we're going to have a beautiful film and we know part three is going to amaze people, but the more resources we have, uh, and of course resources come with money, the greater levels this film can rise to. It's like a bigger palette available. This is a painting that's going to be made, but let's add as many colors to that palette as we can. That's the, the, the factor that helps you really make a really good movie to a great movie, that you have that rich palette to draw from. America was built on people creating things and be able to keep most of what they created and not have the government come in and steal it or tax it. Ayn Rand understood that in 1957, even before then. This movie shows you what America can be if we do this by showing you what America will be if we don't. The question is, do you own yourself? Do you own what you produce? Do you have a right to say what you want to say? Or does someone else, someone from the government, some crony capitalist that has cut a deal with a committee chairman, do they get to decide? That's what this movie's about. It is so timely, given the debate that's going on in America today. I think Atlas Shrugged is exactly what this country needs right now. What this country needs right now. What this country needs right now. What this country needs right now.